there she is. <laughs> so I don't want to make every single day about this fish tank, but the fish tank is seriously stressing me out, you guys. I did a 25% water change yesterday. Those of you who know about fish, you'll understand what I'm saying. I did a 25% water change last night hey. using my new vacuum, cleaned out the rocks, and I got 25% of the water out and replaced it and made sure to condition the water with the little fizzy tablets. I did everything that I was supposed to do yesterday. Woke up today and our fi one of our fish, little mustachio, has white spots on him. And I read that little white spots could mean that he's got, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but ick is what I was reading. Um, if they do have an ick, that means they've got a parasite that they would have brought home from Petco. And I'm starting to really lose faith in Petco's ability to give me healthy fish. So it might be that we're buying our fish from Petco is the whole problem. It might be that there's too many fish in our tank because apparently you're supposed to have 10 gallons per fish. And we have five fish in a 10 gallon tank. That's like four too many. <laughs> We got two snails yesterday to help us keep the, the algae and the things clean. Um, if I do a 25% water change every day, perhaps that will help keep it clean instead of doing it once a week like I thought you were supposed to do. Okay, so if I do 25% change every day and I make sure that I use the fizzy tablets to, to condition the water and I keep the pH levels in check, I still have to worry about ammonia levels because apparently with this many fish, the ammonia levels just go crazy. And now we have a parasite. I'm gonna go crazy with this fish tank, you guys. Okay, so plan of action. Today, my plan is to go to Walmart and get some ammonia testers so I can test the level of ammonia and see if that's really what's way out of whack. I've, I read that if your water is cloudy that you've got an ammonia level problem. So maybe it's the ammonia, maybe it's the nitrates. I read something about that too, but I have no idea what any of this stuff means. I thought you just put goldfish in there and they lived. I didn't know it was so complicated. Yeah. Did you? Did you know having fish was gonna be so complicated? And of course, I'm the one that is supposed to be taking care of these things, so I feel personally responsible that I don't know what I'm doing. I feel terrible, you guys, terrible. So this little guy right here is Mustachio, and he, if you can see, has little white spots on him. Those white spots were not there yesterday but they are the sign of his little immune system fighting off a parasite, which is probably ick. Uh, I don't see it on Flashy. I don't see it on Jewel. I don't see it on Brutus, but I do see it on Tiny's tail. If you can see just a little bit on his back fin there, there's like a little white flake on there. And I'm afraid that he is gonna be sick. So I need to do something to take care of these silly fish because I feel personally responsible for them even being in this predicament. We just went to Petco yesterday. Yeah, we went to Petco yesterday. That's another thing. I also read that if you get fish from anywhere, anywhere that you buy fish and you bring them home in that little bag of water, never, never, never put that little bag of water into your fish tank. Always get the fish out and put the fish only in your tank. I didn't know that. I dumped all that water in and apparently that's the worst thing you can do because then you introduce all kinds of new parasites and bacteria into your tank and I did not know that. I'm learning as I go here guys and I feel terrible that I didn't already know that but there's no way you could possibly know things that you didn't know because I wouldn't have known to look it up. I just didn't know. Okay. So my plan today is to go to the store, get some ammonia testers, get some, probably some medicine to cure this ick thing. I promise though guys, as soon as we get this fish tank thing figured out, we'll do videos about things other than the fish tank. But for right now, this is what I do all day is I sit and I obsess about these fish and their health and what am I doing wrong and what can I do better and why didn't I know this already? So uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the store. We're gonna get what we need to fix it. I keep repeating that, but. We're gonna fix whatever's wrong with these fish and I'm gonna do my very best to not have sick fish. I don't want any of my fish to die. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that they don't, including empty the tank twice a day if I have to do that. Whatever I have to do to keep those ammonia levels down, whatever I have to do to keep the pH level balanced, if I can fix it, I will do it because I am dedicated to my dumb little pets that my kids have. However, if they die, I'm not gonna replace them because we have too many fish in our tank and that's contributing to the problem. Okay, so there's little Sheldon cleaning up our tank for us. This part right here is his little mouth and he's eating the algae off the side of the tank. 
So this guy's doing good. He's moving around. Jordan thinks we should name him Turbo because he's in one spot during one second and then you look away and look back and he's gone. He's somewhere completely different. But now we get a good close up of what he looks like. So there's Sheldon. And this is Mustachio getting in our way here. And he's the reason that we're headed to the store. He's still got that little flake on the back. He's got another one on his head right there, little white flakes on him. So we're gonna go get some stuff to see if we can take care of him. I cleaned the water one more time and now it's cloudy again. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to keep up with the constant cleanings of this tank until we figure out what's going on. Make sure that these guys stay healthy. So for that, we need to go to Walmart. So let's get out of here. Okay, we're at Walmart and I think I've picked out everything that I need. I've got a digital thermometer so that I can tell what the temperature of the water is. I've got an ammonia test kit so that I can make sure that my ammonia levels don't get crazy. I've got some ick clear in case I determine that's what it is, I can get that taken care of. So hopefully between these things, I can figure out what's wrong with my fish and keep them alive. If there's anything else I should get, somebody tell me. And I always thought that having a fish, especially a goldfish, it was just like, okay, here's your tank, here's your water, throw the fish and feed it whenever you remember. What a pain. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys. Yeah, this isn't cheap. This is not a cheap and, pet to have. And we don't even get to eat the fish at the end. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could. Once one dies, just pop in your mouth. We're gonna have a fra fash, uh, fish fry. <laughs> hey guys. <Yuck. laughs> let's do it, guys. It's Lala and the Buns. It's Lala and the Buns. This is all the stuff that I'm using in my fish tank. So you guys can see what I'm using to maintain this and maybe somebody out there can help me. So I've got the water conditioner that I use when I do my water exchanges. So I take 25% of the water out, put one of these in, wait for it to dissolve, and then fill it with the water until I get to the top. That's how I'm conditioning the water that comes out of the faucet. I just bought this one to help with the ammonia level, but I haven't used any of this yet. I bought this kind because it was on sale and I got kind of cheap and decided I wanted that. I got some Ick Clear to get rid of the white dots thing that we've got going on. It quickly clears Ick or white spots, protects against secondary infections. So I'm gonna use that one if I determine that it's needed. I have pH test strips that I've been using and I just got some ammonia test strips so I can make sure that my ammonia level's not too high. And this is the stuff that I've been using in the tank uh, to make sure that we've got the pH level regulated. So that's my assortment here. Right now I'm going to use an ammonia strip and check my ammonia level in my tank to see if I'm okay right now. So according to the directions, what I need to do is take this little vial that's included in the kit, fill this with water from my tank. Okay, nope, I need to fill it up. I have my water from my tank. I'm gonna take my test strip and put it in here and move it up and down for 30 seconds. Two, three, 28, 29, 30. Okay, and then I take it out, shake off the excess water. <laughs> Dump that back in there. And then hold it with the pads. Oh, I don't remember if they said up or down. I think they said pads up. Hold it flat, hold the strip level, pad side up for 30 more seconds, and then read the strip, read the results from the strip upside down. So I'm just gonna hold this flat for 30 seconds. <laughs> and after 30 seconds, you flip your strip over and compare it to here. So that's ideal, that's safe, that's stress, that's harmful and that's danger. So I think we're in at least between the ideal and the safe range. I think we're good on ammonia level, which makes me happy. What do you think? Do we look? I'm gonna check. It's weird, it's kind of... It's on the yellow. camera, it looks different. If you look at it with your weird. eyes, it looks like it belongs here. 
stress would be here and it's still too yellow to be stressed so maybe it's between safe and stress so maybe it's not perfectly ideal but I think we're in the okay range we'll just have to check it tomorrow again yeah I'll check it again tomorrow but for now I'm okay Okay, now I'm gonna check my pH level and see if, uh, if I have a pH problem. So what I do is I take this strip right here and dip it into the water for one second, one, and then I don't shake it off. I just set it nice and flat on here so we can see in a few seconds what our pH level is. Now this one says that we want to maintain our levels between 6.8 and 7.8, which is here and here. So anywhere in here we're okay. This one is bad and that one is bad. So, I'm pretty sure we're right in the middle there. Yeah, I agree. A little high pH levels, but not too bad. I think we might be some, no, I think it's, no. I think it's right there. I think we're okay for now. I think we've got a balanced tank at the moment. I have a question for my fish people. I tested my pH level and at the time my pH looked like it was fine, but now that it has sat for a little while, it looks like it's high. Do I trust the, the uh, pH strip after 15 seconds or do I really need to look at it after it sat for a little while? It says on the package to look at it after 15 seconds, so that's what I did. But am I reading it inaccurately because I'm looking at it too soon or should I be confident that after 15 seconds that's, that's the reading that I should use? You guys tell me, please help me with that. <laughs> I think for tonight, these guys are okay. Maybe they would like to eat though. <laughs> Let's feed them. <laughs> Who's hungry? This is the kind of food that we've got for these little guys. And I'm going to be just grabbing a tiny pinch. I know there's five fish in there, so I'm not going to uh, overfeed them by giving them a tiny pinch. But I do this, give them a tiny pinch of food. Enough that everybody gets a bite, but not enough to overfeed them. Dinner. See if anybody's hungry yeah. once they start noticing. It's tiny, how strange. He's always the hungry one. Oh, oh, now Flashy. Everybody says, yeah, dinner time, let's go eat. Finally, Flashy goes up oh, to the yep, surface. Down here, they're eating on the bottom when it gets pushed down by the filter. So yep, everybody was hungry. You need to swim around in that stuff, you. You're the one that brought the yuck. The ick. Ugh. Okay, so this little fizzy tab right here is the ick clear tablet. And that's gonna get rid of this ick that we've got going on. I decided that I would go ahead and treat because I saw Crystal, our little, not this white one, but the other white one. Uh, it's kind of spazzing out in there and one of the symptoms of this Parasite is that your fish will kind of look like it's having a seizure And that's what she was doing. She was kind of freaking out in there and Tiny here still has some scales on him and he's not looking so good. He looks okay He doesn't look as bad as he did earlier today, but he's just not He's not himself So I'm hoping This will help. I don't know I wish any part of this made sense and I'd go, oh yeah, I know exactly what to do, because I don't know what to do. But this is what we're trying. So I don't know if our fish are okay, but I think our tank is balanced at the moment, so at least that's a start, right? Tiny and Mustachio are good now. Tiny and Mustachio are feeling a little better. I, I really Mustachio. hope that we don't have any more Mustachio. problems with our tank. Mustachio. I'll keep an eye on them. Hopefully we won't have to do another fish video tomorrow. Hopefully. Let's do something else tomorrow, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Yeah. If you want to make this channel strong, share it with your friends. And I'll... Good night, YouTube. See you tomorrow. Please subscribe now.